With the increasing use of airdrop strategies by new projects, we might also see a greater demand for digital identity solutions. Hello everyone, I'm Vinicius Ferrero, and I decided to create my digital identity using the Nabox wallet, known as Nabox ID. My initial motivation is to participate in these airdrops and giveaways of new projects in the Nulls ecosystem. After all, some things have already happened in this regard. In the beginning of this solution called Nabox ID, airdrops were conducted only for those who had Nabox ID. Shortly after, airdrops were also done for projects called Wikicat and PheasantSwap. When you create your digital identity using a platform, you can usually authenticate some social networks. This helps giveaway and airdrop platforms to audit and prevent multi-accounting. Let's see an example of its utility, okay? In the pheasant swap airdrop that already happened in the form, you needed to fill in with your Twitter, Telegram, and Discord. At the moment you create your digital identity, you can link all these social networks. But back to talking about Nabox ID, there is a cost for you to create your digital identity. In my case, I used the Anulse blockchain. The cost I had, that is, the current cost is about 3 million Nabox tokens. But don't worry, this amount is not worth much, at least not currently okay? It costs about 13 to 14 dollars. Alright, how can you create your Nabox ID? First, access the website id.naboex.io. I will leave the link down below in the description. Click on Connect Wallet here and connect the Nabox wallet. Don't worry, if you don't have your Nabox wallet, I will leave a complete playlist about the Nulls ecosystem okay? There are many things about Nabox, and Nulls, and various supporting content that you will need. I will connect my wallet here and click on Connect. There, it's already connected. After connecting the wallet, click on Enter, and then click on Create Nabox ID. Here, in the Inviter option, you can leave it blank, or you can put something like Bitnoob with a capital B and two capital O's. This way, you support the channel. So, in the Inviter field, if you want, write Bitnoob. ID name is precisely the name you want to create for your digital identity. You can put any name OK? However, the minimum is 5 characters. I'll put a name here just to exemplify. I'll just put Vinicius and click on Create. Next, the system will ask you to sign the transaction in your Nabox wallet. Now I'll click on the Sign button, and then this transaction will be signed. But, as I said before, you need to make the payment of 3 million Nabox tokens. And as you can see, currently these 3 million Nabox tokens are worth around 13 to 14 dollars. So, it's not that expensive. Well, now that we've seen the price, how do I get the balance, and which blockchain do I need to use? Alright, my Nabox wallet is already originally configured on the Anulz blockchain, because as soon as I connected, it automatically defaulted to Anulz. So, I need Nabox within the Anulz blockchain. In this case, I used Anulz because I chose it myself. But you can use Polygon, BSC, or other networks if you want. Maybe on another network, you have the necessary liquidity to buy those 3 million Nabox tokens easily. On the other hand, using Anulz, you won't have as much liquidity for now. But in this case, I will show you how I did it. First, I accessed the NullSwap website and changed the blockchain from Anulz to Nulls. Then I clicked on Launch Dapp. There is good liquidity here for the Nabox token. So, I will connect my Nabox wallet here and exchange Nulls for Nabox. You just need to search, and the token will appear. Instead of buying exactly 3 million, I bought 3 million and 100,000 or 3 million and 200,000. This makes it easier and ensures there are enough tokens when you make the purchase. If you put exactly 3 million here, you might receive only 2,999,000. Meaning, you would need to purchase the missing unit. At the current rate, it's costing around 71 nulls. Now, you will click on swap and make the exchange. So, you will be buying the Nabox token within the Nulls blockchain. Once you make this purchase, your Nabox token will be on the traditional Nulls blockchain, which is not yet compatible with Nabox ID. So now, we need to send our Nabox token from the traditional Nulls blockchain to the Nulls blockchain. This process is extremely simple using the Nerve network. You will access the website, which will also be linked in the description, and click on Bridge. Here, the system will automatically connect with traditional Nulls, which is where my Nabox is configured. You'll need to connect yours OK? From the Nulls network, I want to send to where? I want to send it to a Nulls or another blockchain network that I want to use to create my Nabox ID. Here, I will choose the asset I want to send, which is the Nabox token itself. Here, I could send everything, 
click next, next again, confirm the transaction, and the system will send it from the traditional Nulls blockchain directly to the Nulls blockchain within my Nabox wallet. Attention, if you made the swap and your balance is taking a bit of time to show up, relax, sometimes it's like that. Another thing, it's good to send one or two nulls to the Anulls blockchain to pay for possible network fees. Coming back here, the idea is the same okay? You just change the token from Nabox to nulls and fill in the value. After that, just click next, next again, and then the transfer will be made. Once you've made the transfer, click there again on your Nabox wallet and change the traditional nulls blockchain to Anulls. Now here you need to click on this plus sign and search for Nabox just to be able to add the token and see if your balance has arrived. After adding the token and confirming, now you just need to look here and wait until the nulls and Nabox tokens arrive. When they arrive, you can create your Nabox ID. Now, let's click on Create Nabox ID. You will put Bitnoob here, and below, you will put your ID. In other words, any name you want for your digital identity. Now, click on Create, sign this transaction here for the system to link with the wallet you're using, and click Confirm. If you have the necessary balance, you will be able to confirm the creation. After you've created it, your name will be registered here, in my case, Bitnoob at Nabox. Your wallet will also be registered along with your public key. Here, you can change your avatar to an NFT avatar on the Ethereum, BSC, or Polygon networks. Remember, it needs to be an NFT. You can also change the background here. By clicking on my card, your card with all the social networks you configured will appear. Configuring the social networks is quite easy. You scroll down here, click on Authenticate, and you will need to follow some steps like any other website. Log into your social networks, confirm, and then everything will be linked. In the personal center here, you can see how your page turned out approximately. As you can see, all my social networks have already been authenticated, and also a link that you can place down there. In my case, I put YouTube. As you saw, creating your Nabox ID is quite simple. You can use various different blockchain networks. I used Anulls because it has low fees and I want to interact with this ecosystem. But you can use the blockchain network you prefer, Binance Smart Chain, Polygon. I just don't recommend Ethereum because the fees are quite high. Don't forget, the balance in Nabox tokens that will be used to pay for the creation of your Nabox ID needs to be on the same blockchain network you connected to on the website. As I know some questions might arise, I've already left some official nulls and Nabox groups in various languages on Telegram down below in the description. So, I invite you to join the groups, interact there, and ask your questions. But attention, if you like this content, don't forget to leave a like on this video to support my work here on YouTube, and subscribe to this channel so you don't miss the upcoming videos, including several airdrops that will be coming up. Well, for today that's it. Thank you very much for your audience, and I'll see you in the next video. So, see you soon, bye bye.